Okay. I need a group. That's what it is. I need a group, but I don't know how to get one. I'm gonna need a cinematographer. I'm gonna need a music person. I'm gonna need a sound person. I'm gonna need a producer and aid. Like I need, I need people for like the main positions, but I don't know how. I've been coming back home for at least, shit, I, for the past three years. Whenever I come back, I'm like, yo, I'm looking for people to work with and nobody hit me up. So it's like, I don't know how else to go about it. It's hard for me to do stuff out here because it's like, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it by myself. I don't know anybody else who can help me. Yeah, I probably know about, what, two people? But if I have a short film where I need multiple people acting, I don't know the other multiple people acting who are gonna be acting with me. Who Also, who's gonna hold the camera? Who's gonna wait, make all the sound? It's just so much I need. Ah, oh, man, okay. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make this work, but it's just like, I'm just, I just need to think. Main people that I need is somebody who works sound, someone who can hold the camera and knows what they doing with the camera. You know, if if anybody wants to help, I need some like extra help back behind, behind the scenes. Maybe some other writers as well, actors and everything. I just need so much and it's just hard. It's one thing when you like put stuff on, social media constantly and you keep getting like you know no responses i hate when i put something out on social media like hey hit me up if you're interested in this is that that and when i do it it's like they'll like it and that's it just hit me up like if you're really interested i don't know if people are liking it because they're interested and they're scared to tell me or they're liking it because they're like oh he really doing his thing he's really trying i like that and then they just keep scrolling like, bro, no, like, come on. Uh, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna I'm find a way. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna pray on it too. Yeah, I gotta call Jake. I gotta call Jake. Unlikely pairing, bro. Mm-hmm. Who, who color graded that? Uh, this, this guy named Peter. He's in, he's in Georgia. I met, they all go to Georgia State. That was like my first time working with people outside of Morehouse. Yeah, most of them were like freshmen, sophomores. They were on their stuff, man. Yeah. Yes, and that man, man Peter, that man Peter was nice with that camera, man. For real, bro. I'm like, cause I remember seeing that, I was like, oh, oh. God. Yeah, like, yeah. Professor. You know, as I'm thinking about it, man, like once we get a team, I think this will be good for all of us just because like it'll help get um you know our skills up, our work up and everything. And we'll just be making like bigger connections with the right people, you know. That's mainly Especially what I'm... bro, after this gets done, I think people are gonna like obviously people are gonna promote it at the end and when they do that, excuse me, people are gonna be like, Oh wait, wait, wait you on the your film stuff? People that they wouldn't even think about asking, and then that's going to bring in more people. You exactly, know I mean? exactly. If we can get it as professional as, as possible, I, I think that would change a lot, bro. And I'm not, I mean a lot. Exactly. Because that sh just seeing those pictures, bro, got me excited to see that. I don't even know who Peter is. <laughs> you know hey, shout out to Peter, bro. You cold, man. Can't wait to work with you again, bro. I'm, I'll talk to, at the very least, I'll talk to him about that if he can't uh, be there. Yeah, because, like, if he's doing, if he's interested in anything filmed, then, I mean, shoot, we could definitely have him be a part. It's just, it's just, we just need serious people. That's all, that's all I care about. Like, yeah. and it's he, one he, thing, he could, yeah. He could be, he knows those techniques. I mean, I'll say for the most part, he knows, like, techniques to do with the camera and stuff like that. What's up, y'all? Um, It's late again. Um, But I just wanted to fill y'all in on basically what I just went through today, kind of, sort of. So, I realized that I need a group of um, dedicated people to work with out here in Texas. Uh, and also I kind of need to, I need to reconfigure the whole script again. So with the whole group thing, I realized that like, if I'm gonna get anywhere, like if I'm gonna go anywhere with anything, I need a group. 
I need because I can't do everything by myself. I really can't. I can't act and hold the camera and manage the sound and, you know, adjust the lights. I mean, I can, but I want to make stories that involve more people on hand, you know. So, yeah, I need to find some type of way of doing that. So I've talked to a couple people. So hopefully um, I'll get more people on, involved and everything like that. But until then, we just gonna have to wait and see. So I just really hope that the people that come along are people that I can trust, people that are dedicated and has have as much passion as I do, you know? Because that trust thing is so important, like, so important. And yeah, I just, we just, I just need people that, you know, I can work with. We can keep working. We'll have consistent projects. We're organized, all that good stuff. So, and then hopefully we can just expand as time goes by. So that's one. And then the other thing regarding the whole script thing. So I was looking at the beat sheet for it. And then I was trying so hard to like, make sure there's no loopholes or no, no, just just making sure everything made sense with what it's connected to. And I was looking over it. I went over it with my sister too, cause I want to. I want it. I want to act in it with her. So um, I'm over looking it with her, and then I'm just like trying to explain it to her. Then I re- and then she was like, "Okay, then what about this? What about that?" And I was like, "Damn, I got so much more I gotta look at." So I'ma probably run through the beat sheet one more time, and then try to make sense of everything. Um, I'm gonna hit up my journal. I'm gonna get back to the journal. I have to write. If I don't write, it's just it's just hard for me to like just think of everything straight up in my head. So that's why I like writing so much. So, but other than that, you know, we'll figure it out. It's all part of the whole process of everything. Um, and I know eventually the right idea will hit me. The right flow of everything will hit. So. Ah, yeah, but until then, I'm about to hit the hay, get get on it tomorrow, waking up 7 a.m. again, and uh, yeah, let's get to working. Ooh, night, y'all. So we out here. It's a great day. Uh, one of my friends graduated, so apparently now today we about to go ahead and do this whole little, like a parade thing for him or something like that. As you can see, everybody lining up right quick. Yeah, he, shout out to that man, Jordan. But nah, uh, for real though, you know, this guy, he got me, he got, he's the guy that got me into like going to Morehouse. He's the guy that got me to like, one of the people that like helped me, uh, you know, realize that I should go after what I'm going after. And you know, it's just like, you know, much appreciation. So gotta show appreciation for all that and everything. So, so yeah, so we about to pull out if he and about to go turn up the mud, yeah he. Boy, I'm about to, boy, hey, I'm about to honk the hell out my horn, Woo, boy. Last night, I hit up some old friends who uh, I know kind of have an interest in the film stuff. So, so far they said they down with the whole group thing. So hopefully that works out. I'm trying to continue making the story work out. Just looking up stuff, watching stuff, all that stuff. And it just has me thinking like, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> I hope I make sense of this stuff soon. I know I'm not supposed to be picking things up easily, but it's just like, I just want to at least have a glimpse of like, you know, I got an understanding of things. I need to stop rushing things. I need to chill out, stop acting like things can happen tomorrow. That's a big problem of mine. I just need to get 
just be okay with waiting, taking my time, letting things come naturally and not rushing the process because I know when things come faster than they should, that means they end quicker than they should, you know? I want, when things come, I want them to come. And when it does come, it'll last a lifetime. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to gauge an idea of like people I can work with, finding a group out here. And the plan is just to find a group and make a couple short films and just see how that goes, honestly. I did some looks on the analytics of my site. Currently at 201 visits, 175 unique visitors, and the bounce rate went down 7%. But I mean, overall, like I'm just happy that people are coming to the site, you know? Like that's big. I love that. So everybody who came out, thank you so much. But man, you know, it's just like, thinking about all the possibilities that this can go. I pray every day now. I've been praying every day. It's just like, I worked it into my routine to where I'm doing it consistently. It's not like a something, it's not like a one time thing or I'm praying like, uh, you know, when things go bad. No, I'm, I'm learning to do it every time. Thank, be thankful for all the things that I have and be thankful that I'm on the path that I'm on. I look at where I am now and where I was before and I'm just so thankful, like thank God, man. And I just need to continue being proud of myself and looking at that as, you know, just, just, just wait, things will get better. Keep doing what you're doing, keep working, keep doing everything but you gotta keep be right up here and be right with your work and stay positive, stay happy. Don't be discouraged because you're not blowing up tomorrow or got everything figured out tomorrow. I don't know, it's just like a mindset thing, I think. Cause like, I definitely understand it, but it's like sometimes I still feel some ways of ways about things, but I think that's just that's just part of life. And as we continue going on doing what we're doing, um, you know, things will just make sense. And, you know, you gotta look at every thing we go through, whether it's good or bad, as something to take on the next day and so on. Every bad thing that happens is a lesson. Nothing bad happened, but like <laughs> it's just it's just taking every day, taking it day by day. But once I get that integrated in my brain, I'll be straight. Yeah, all you people out there grinding, working, everything like that, just be patient, just wait for it. It'll come. I know I can't speak much, but you know, it's just something I'm trying to tell myself so I can get that into my mindset so I don't feel discouraged, I don't feel down. I don't feel like, you know, oh, maybe I'm not doing the right thing. No, I'm not, no, I'm not thinking about none of that, man. We got this, we got this. Let's get it. People in this house don't think I can cook. Man, shoot, I'm about to prove I'm wrong, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, got the, uh, the, you don't need to see that, you know what I'm saying? Got the, uh, the, the water, and uh, just prepared some fresh uh, vegetables and, Pastas and the chicken. Uh, you know, about to say we're about to pour them in. And people over here think I can't cook. Boy, please leave me alone. Man, come on now. Yeah, I could cook. You know, it's from scratch. You, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this on like a one and six. Sound about right, right? Yeah. See, sound about right? <laughs> no, I'm not reading no instructions. I, it's all off the dome, you feel me? I mean, um, yeah, just looking for my utensils, of course.
Mama! Yeah, see? See? You got to turn You're it on. You're doing good, right? It. You got to get it hot first. I did. That's what I said. You steam up. No, you got to get it. Follow the instructions. I did. Read the instructions. What, what instructions? Not too much, don't ask for too much, you know. Hey. You cooking? Mom said to cook. First of all, get this out of my face. Mom said to cook. Mom did not say to yes, cook. she did. She said to make the bread. What bread? The bread, the garlic bread. Okay. Alexis can't cook good as me, but, you know, she tries sometimes, but mom usually doesn't like her cooking, but, you know, it is what it is. She got it's to the on. point, my mom had to come and help her. She didn't know what she doing. Yeah. Set that on, on there. Mom, you helping Alexis, right? Yes, sir. Don't even know what she doing. That's what I'm saying. When? She always clowning me about how I can't cook. I don't. She can't look at this. I don't claim to know how to cook, ever. You, no, you definitely said that one time. That's, oh. Oh, see, look at you. Ooh. So. <laughs> boy, that beautiful boy. And what you done? Nothing. The look, the bread is still I cold. I have to wait for the oven to preheat. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> she just mad because I prepared the whole thing by myself, by scratch. You know what I'm saying? By scratch? <laughs> Mama! Food ready. Yeah! Prepared by yours truly. Truly. Prepared by yours, truly. <laughs> Ain't nobody say it like that, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, you did. All right, what's up, y'all? So I'm about to hop on the phone with um some friends, some people that um I'm a start a film group with out here in Texas. So um hope everything goes good. Hope everybody's on the same page. And uh yeah, I'll let y'all know how it go. Okay, so I uh, just got off the phone with the group and yeah, everybody got big hopes, big dreams. They want, they got big places to go to. So yeah, man, I'm happy. Uh, you know, I gotta, I don't know. I don't wanna be all cliche, be like, I got a good feeling about this, but I'm just excited to see where things go. It was a good meeting. Uh, I told everybody, you know, what the film group would be doing. Uh, asked everybody where do they want to be, like what are their biggest goals and everything like that. And uh, yeah, man, you know, just trying to, just trying to relay the importance of a film group. So uh, I think I've found people out here, the right people out here to start this with. And it's all people that I've known from high school. So that's pretty cool. So, hey, I'll keep y'all updated with our progress and everything like that. Uh, pretty sure the first uh, project we start on is going to be the script that I'm writing. So let's hope and see that, you know, things go in the right direction and everybody stays on board and we just grow and expand, you know, become great, become amazing. That's the goal. So, yes, can't wait. The film group, be on the lookout.